Hey everybody. It's February the 2nd, 2015, and I'm Cindy K. Courier, and this is my second video of the day. And yes, I did get my juice, <laughs> and this is an empty glass. This was, I don't know what was in it, except for I do know it had uh, green pepper and apple, and I think lime. It was so good, I cannot tell you. I, I tried to save it, some of it so I could show it to you. It was actually a, a interesting color because it had carrots in it too, so it was kind of a green-orange. Yeah. Love those veggie fruit juices. Okay. I'm going to ask, if you're listening right now, that if you can't listen to this whole video, please save it for when you have time to listen to the whole thing, and I don't know how long it's going to be. So, when it's finished, you'll be able to see how long it is. And the reason is because some assumptions might get made as I begin that may change as I end. Here's why I say that. I want to talk about Kevin and Nett, and there's a lot of things floating around the internet about him. And you could assume that I'm going to say similar things if I didn't give you this disclaimer. I'm pretty sure that what I'm going to say is probably different than anything you've heard before regarding Kevin and that. And I say that because I don't know another person who shares the sense of things that I'm going to share with you now about Kevin and that. Um, my first contact my first personal contact with Kevin Annette was initiated by him in March or April of 2013 as my law partner and I I've been studying uh, common law and so I'm not a bar attorney I'm a retired psychotherapist I gave up my license when I found out that I wasn't going to be able to counter the mind control that my profession administers to people. Um, I gave up my practice and began studying common law and uh, partnered with someone in LA to do that. We formed a common law forum through Skype and began to put together a grand jury of sorts. In that process we posted documents, we posted warrants, arrest warrants, replevins. We were just trying to do our best to put a stop to you know, the, the stuff that we saw happening, our control system. And of course now we know better, we have the benefit of hindsight, but at that time we believed the common law uh, system was the way to go because we didn't understand that we'd always been under common law and the common law was the law used to justify a lot of Crimes Against Humanity um, across the world, especially in Africa. But at the time we were, we were working under common law and I had looked at Kevin Annette's <clears throat> training manual and found it to be sparse. Uh, Kevin Annette has a common law training manual and says that he teaches people how to put together common law juries. While I didn't find his training manual content helpful, I found the form of it helpful. I found some of his work to be helpful in terms of um, a template. I saw what, I'll just be honest, I saw what he did wrong. You know, his errors were glaring to me and I I used his templates to make a better template for my work later. Um, some of the things he did inspired me to do them, but to do them better. At the same time, I, I perceived that some of his work had become so misleading that it was harmful, and so I confronted him about it. One of the things that his training things says is that common law is natural. 
the common law is, is uh, quite the opposite of natural law in many ways. So there was a glaring, to me, a glaring mistake that I thought he would appreciate having pointed out to him. And when I pointed it out to him, he, um, he unfriended me in response on Facebook and, and did not provide any more communication about it. And so that was a clue to me that perhaps that error was intentional. I didn't make any more judgments about Kevin in that. I didn't take it any step further and decide that he was trying to do something bad. I just dismissed him. Later, Alfred Lambermont Weber called Kevin Annette out as a fraud. Um, I thought that was interesting because when, when I posted my letter to Kevin Annette publicly, I posted it in Kevin Annette, or in Alfred Weber's group, Alfred Weber um, protested it. And we got in a discussion that resulted in Alfred Lambermont Weber defending me in defense of Kevin Annette. So I found that interesting. And it also found interesting that later, now by the way, at no time during this did I perceive Alfred Weber as being deceptive. I, acting, maybe. Kevin Annette acting, maybe. But I, I didn't have any sense of dread about these guys. So I let it pass. Um, in my work to try to identify the actors playing roles in our government, playing roles in our false flags, I, I did run across the identity of Pope um, Bagaglio, Jorge Bagaglio. And that person is uh, an actor named Jonathan Price. I guess you could call it, I got an, an intuitive hit to check Jonathan Price's ears, as I learned to do from Ed Cierney, with Kevin Annette's. And when I look at these guys, Side by side, they look the same, and so what that would mean would be that Kevin Annette is also the Pope, playing that role, which would explain a whole lot. Now, what I want to say about that is this. The mistakes Kevin Annette made in his role as Kevin Annette, the mistakes Jonathan Price played as he was playing Kevin Annette, made as he was playing Kevin Annette, were glaring to a novice legalist, lawist, law student like me, his mistakes are glaring. His paperwork doesn't resemble anything like anything that would hold up in a common law court or a transitional natural law court or a traditional court. His mistakes are too obvious. Now, Kevin Annette does have long hair, so you can't really check his ears out very well, but I think he's only remotely trying to hide. And, and here's, I, I'm convinced that these actors want to be found out. I'm convinced they're giving us clues. These are our captors now, because the off-world beings who are blackmailing these actors, I feel, are contained right now. I feel that what we have to focus on now is ourselves, freeing ourselves, because now our bondage is on us. We're following actors who have never before written their own scripts, because those scripts have been written for them until now. And so now it's our job, and I want you to hear me say that, I want to hear myself say this. It's our job to free our captors. In freeing them, we will free the world. 
Our captors have been held hostage. They have been blackmailed into holding us in the slavery system. We are enslaved by people who, if left to themselves, wouldn't have a clue how to run a slavery system. I'm convinced their scripts have been handed to them. Now they're making blatant errors or blatant cries for help. Take a look at the communication from Ben Fulford today. It was um, an adjunct to his newsletter. It was a letter that came through Kayla Pele. It's advocating a system, uh, you know, an alternative capital, uh, capitalist system that appears to me to be a little too obvious. So I want to say, um, I'm losing my train of thought because there's some um, guests here, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. But um, I want to say, let's, those of us who claim to be awake are some of the most asleep people. Many of us who think we're awake are caught in the truther movement, which was a setup so that we wouldn't know what was really happening. What's really happening now is that the slavery system is ours to keep or ours to put away. Simple as that. We can put it away by freeing those who are holding us captive. That means holding them in love in our heart. That means dropping our grievance against them. That means hearing their story, offering compassion, and forgiveness if they want it. If they refuse, and if, if they refuse our, our love and our compassion and forgiveness and insist on hurting humanity, then they must be contained and must accept consequences. We will be protected. The goal is for everyone to be free. Not to mete out what we think is justice with half-truths and half-understandings. We need to understand fully. We need to get the full picture here. Okay. I think that's it for now. We'll see you next time. Thank you for listening.